Greetings to you guys. Welcome to Shakespeare's YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at uh, ALP variables. How do we declare variables in assembly language programming for x86 microprocessors? So uh, let's get into it let's get into it in assembly programming the variables are all defined by bytes only what we mean we by saying we define variables uh by bytes we specify the size of the variable in bytes that's how we declare variables or that's how we use variables in alp right so if you want to define or declare a variable of size one byte you say define byte you say db so db stands for define byte and the size of that uh, variable is one byte and then if you want a word a word which is uh two bytes two bytes that's the size of a word and if you want to declare or define a variable of size two byte which is uh, 16 bits if not mistaken you say dw so i i will show you the syntax or the way we declare variables in uh, ALP. So DW define word. Uh, DD define double word. Define double word. All right, which is four bytes. That's the size of the variable. We go next. We say define quad word. Quad word which is uh, 8 bytes and in bits it's around 64 bits right that's it we can also define 10 parts 10 bytes which is um, 800 by uh, 800 bits so we say 10 by 8 a byte is 8 bits and uh, 10 bytes is 800 bits right so number system in assembly language is decimal octal hexadecimal binary so these are the number systems that we use in assembly programming language we use decimal values we use octal values we use hexadecimal we use binary values so whenever we are writing the code we need to tell our assembler that this value is in hexadecimal this value is in octal this value is a binary value or this value is a decimal value so how do we tell our assembler that this value is a hexadecimal we append an h at the end of the value or the number we append a d if it's a decimal or we just leave it as a number without any character appended to that value by default if, if you put a value that value is by default in decimal number system if you put an o uh, that will mean the value is an octal b binary h hexadecimal so it doesn't matter whether you put the small case or you put the uppercase so that's it so let's uh, move on and uh, look at the way we write an instruction which declares a variable in a lp so this is the syntax we say variable name and then you state the 
size of your variable and in this case we are defining a byte so we are saying we are defining a variable called name of size byte and the value that we're going to initialize our variable with is value so that's how we this is how we declare variables in alp x86 microprocessor right so for a word that's how it's done uh db stands for defined byte as we said in the previous slide the dw stands for define word so the name can be any later digit combination or digit combination although it should start with a letter we you know the principles of uh, defining a variable they do not change uh it's only the syntax which which uh changes when you are declaring variables <clears throat> sorry right and the value is the numeric value in any supported number in system like i said we have exodus from binary octal and so forth but if you don't want to put any value into the variable you can put a question mark here you can put a question mark and the question mark means we uh, are not initializing our variable <clears throat> we are not initializing our variable so here is an uh, example where we have declared some variables some two variables and uh, we have used them there right so what have we done here we have declared a variable called var1 of size byte and we have initialized our var1 with value 7 in decimal and the this 7 is in decimal because we don't have any character appended to this value and we have our var2 which is our second variable of size weight initialized uh, to one two three four in hexadecimal which is 1234 hexadecimal value so what then have we done we have moved the value in our variable one into a l we have we then moved the value in variable two into bx register <clears throat> so that's how we declare and choose variables but uh let me show you another example so before we before i show you another example let's take this takeaway i want you i want you to go and do this exercise which says write an assembly program to read two decimal numbers and then multiply them together and finally print out the result in decimal and you will be awarded 100 percent if you get the 10 marks <clears throat> right that's the takeaway so let's get back to our formal topic we are talking about variable declaration and here we have declared declared we have declared num one is our variable one it's of size byte without any initialization or any value being put into this variable same applies to num2 same applies to result and these comments are describing what is happening with our uh, variables and here is another variable message one message two defined by defined byte 
and then we have the value these values you know here we are dealing with strings here we are dealing with strings so we need to know whether we are going to the new 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 line or we are moving to the new tab that's why that's what these two values stands for right so we put the value so the value is the string and this is a new line character same applies there same applies there and down there we are now using our variables so let's look at another a good example let's open our emulator this is x86 emulator with this code so what i'm going to show you is let me emulate uh before i emulate let me show you this is num1 byte variable with uh nine nine is its value seven is value for another byte called num2 then the result is having nothing it's not initializing it's not initialized to anything <clears throat> Then we get into this section where we are having several instructions. So we are moving what we have initialized, what we have declared into a X. That's our data. Our data data is put into a X. A X. Then meaning to say we have moved our data into data segment. And then we are moving our the value in variable num1 into bl register num2 into bl again but this time we are adding the value in num2 with the value that we have put into bl and then we move the value in bl to dl so that we can have it on the screen then this one is just a function which is used to pull the black screen and uh, print something there right int 21 h giving access to what you have requested for all right so now we have move a h1 wait for input user must press the keyboard to give the program input 21h allow the program to accept input then we go on num1 move that value move that value there we move value in al into result we move that's another function we execute it so that's it let's check on as we emulate right so what i'm going to show you here is we have these variables that's where you get variables all right so i'm going to put my variables here <coughs> sorry all right so num1 that's num1 declared there and the value is 09 num2 07 result 00, zero. right so those are the variables that we have let's now emulate 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 single step single step single step single step single step single step so we we are moving our data into data segment with then more step number one our values moved then then add now you will see the black screen so that's it we now know how to declare how to initialize variables in alp using x86 emulator so that's it thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe 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 like share share with your friends on twitter facebook or social media platforms uh, give a comment 
so that we may improve if there is need or you can motivate us with uh, positive comments thank you very much enjoy the rest of your day bye bye